going on guys got a great one for you today um, I've got a Mastercraft 05 Mastercraft X10 and I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step and show you guys uh, what I did or what it took for me to swap out the digital gauges back to the old style analog gauges uh, I have not seen any videos on YouTube about this, so I'm going to make one for you guys because I was kind of intimidated um, in, uh, when I decided to see if I wanted to do this or not. Uh, but it's really not that bad. Uh, the worst part is just taking out the old gauges, and I'm going to just break it down for you and do a walkthrough, and uh, maybe you guys will want to do it uh, for yourself because I know that there's... Uh, people out there that charge thousands of dollars to do this uh, and the gauge kit itself was a thousand dollars so anyways it's something you guys can definitely do yourself and uh, I'm gonna try to walk you through it so try to get this cover out of the way here again this is a 05 x10 so uh, yours may or may not be um, you know exactly like this uh, but the process should be very similar um, Ski boat parts online makes the kit They uh, will send you uh, Wiring instructions and then you can always call them for help if you need it um, Very helpful very knowledgeable um, Was a pleasure to do business with them. So uh, first thing you're gonna do is uh, take out all the bolts that hold in your gauge cluster. Uh, Eleven thirty seconds is what I still got on there. Uh, yours might be different, but uh, it's a pain in the ass just reaching up under there. Um, and then this is an Allen key, uh, so this is the most time-consuming part. I think there's a way that you can remove this whole center console. Obviously, it's going to vary from boat to boat, but. Um, this uh, was the most time consuming and that's where you're gonna need to start um, removing this, getting the old gauges out. And there is the old harness uh, still back here. You can see that I just tucked out of the way. So old harness is gonna stay back there. I'm just gonna point out um, there's one wire, there's a blue wire each one of each one of the harnesses uh, that you can see there that go to the old gauges. There's always a blue wire. That's going to be your um, the lighting. And I just that's that's instead of tapping into the uh, nav light switch down here, I just tapped the blue wire from the new harness into one of the blue wires on the old harness. So I'll just point that out. That's what I did. And then I just tucked everything else up under, up under here. Um, so here's the back of the new gauges. It's pretty much plug and play. Uh, it's clearly labeled. Um, you can, you know, switch up however you want the four smaller ones and the two larger ones. This is how the original setup was. So that's how I put it back. Um, everything fit perfectly. Uh, the plugs are color coded, so it's really dummy proof as far as that. But uh, that'll be step one. So you're going to take the old gauges out, go ahead and put the new gauges in uh, the panel here, and then uh, go ahead and fit the harness uh, back in there and drop it down. And then we're going to come under here. And um, here's the uh, here's the MDC. I guess I should have started with that. That's going to get removed. That's mounted up underneath here. This is what mine looks like. I think it's got a 24 pin and a 4, 8, 10 pin looks like. Um, I even... Um, I, I don't know how these go bad, but this is... Uh, to me like in pristine condition there's no corrosion nothing so i'm not really sure how this went bad but they should have never went to this 
anyways i mean because if you want to replace that you know i think that's going for like a thousand dollars and then all the medallion gauges you know um you're gonna waste a ton of money so you might as well just do this if your gauges aren't working so um that's actually the first thing get that thing out of the way and then you'll go ahead and get into the gauges and then we're gonna get into the harness here now and then um depending on Again, what model you have, you may or may not have to do some of the things that I had to do, but apparently the 05 years were the um, probably the worst as far as how many different wiring diagrams there are and, you know, what, whatever else they decided to do for that year. So 05, probably the worst before or after, they said, is a little bit easier. So just FYI. So I probably got the worst of it. But anyways, um, they do provide you these uh, little wing nut with a washer on it, which is going to make the install uh, on the uh, gauges there a, a lot easier. So you don't have to reach up under there with this. You can just spin it on by hand. So thank you for that. That's going to be awesome. And then uh, we'll go to the... Uh, We'll go to the harness here. So here is underneath. Um, I've tucked the uh, old uh, 24 pin up out of the way. You're not gonna use that anymore. This is that um, 10 pin um, that brings power to your MDC there. So this is where you're gonna tap into a few wires. And again, this might be a little bit different for your boat, but as you can see, there's three wires that we need to catch from this harness. And that's the red, the black, and the purple. And that is just power, ground, and then your ignition. Um, and you can verify that um, right here, testing this plug, get your voltmeter out. And just test that there's a constant 12 volts a switched 12 volts and a ground and you don't have to get the uh, power and ground from here there you know if you got can get it from somewhere else this is just the factory harness so that's where um, I decided to get it and that's the uh, three that you're gonna tap into right here and then everything else is gonna go back to the motor there um, we're gonna have a this is actually supposed to be a gray. I didn't have gray wire, so I ran a red. Um, it's going to be an oil sending unit, a temp sending unit, um, and then a tack wire. And then I've got uh, one more going back there. So I'm going to take you back there and show you. But this is, this is the harness that uh, they provide. I'm going to get this tied up underneath there but this is the harness that they provide and it's uh, has a connector right here so this goes up to the gauges and then this is what you're going to hardwire and that's literally most of the wiring right here so after you disconnect the uh, MDC uh, that's the plug that goes into it you're going to catch those three right there and then um, we're going to go back and I'll show you uh, I'm sorry yeah this is the fuel sending it's uh the pink is the fuel sending i think that's uh code to be pink so it would be fuel temp um tack and then oil pressure um and i'll i'll go show you that right now <sighs> so i basically um i just took this off and then i ran it where all the factory wires go uh, behind this and then through here and then into the bay there so here's the uh just want to show you a quick wiring diagram it tells you what everything is and again mine's an 05 and then here's a uh, blow up of uh everything there so it helps when someone makes a video it helps when someone makes a video and shows and shows you um helps me anyways so that's what i'm gonna do for you guys all right so we got a uh right here the first thing they had to send me a new uh sending unit and that is the pink wire 
right here. Uh, so it's a new plug. You're going to um, tap the pink wire on this side. Okay, so this is a two wire. The factory is a three wire. And where the pink wire is in the middle, you're going to cut it on the harness side, the boat harness, the existing harness side. And you're going to tap it there and then run the pink to the front. This actually right here, I don't know if you guys had a good eye or not, but if you can see that, that's my um, not yet tested uh, centrifugal water pump that I'm going to try out. That's what this is, and that's a uh, switch wire uh, for that water pump. I'm going to make another video on that. That's a whole nother story, but I basically removed the old crappy water pump and I'm going to put that in its place and hopefully it does a good job. Uh, I was just tired of the maintenance on the old water pump. Um, it's a pain in the ass and uh, literally uh, last time I did it, like two months in, the impeller, a piece of the impeller broke and overheated the motor. Uh, so I had to like limp home basically and uh, found out that a piece of the impeller was just stuck in in the water system there but anyways that's a tale for another time so let's continue on here we've got the fuel sending unit pink wire we're gonna go to the back here this is the uh, 5.7 liter MCX um, we'll go to the tack wire here which is right here and there's a two plugs on the back of this coil here um you've got a black and a gray it's the gray one that you're gonna need to run a wire to and that i believe is the uh red one that i ran so the red one is the tack uh, on some boats, that gray plug has two wires. My boat had one wire, so I had to get a tack kit from them, uh, which provides the two wires. The uh, purple wire, I believe, is power, um, and then the gray wire is uh, the signal, which I just converted to red because that's what I had. Um, so just FYI, your boat might have two wires and then you can just run, you can tap into that signal wire and run it, uh, up to the front. So mine only had one, so I had to replace that pretty simple. Uh, so that's one of the wires. And then, um, we've got the brown and you can see right there, that is the temperature. That's where that goes. That's the temperature sending unit. And there's a few locations where you can install this. I just found that that was the easiest. Um, I believe uh, this, I think, was the original one. Um, so it, you can do it there. They point out you can do it here. And then there's another one right there underneath here. Basically same as that but on the other side so there's a few locations uh you can just pick one and um uh, throw the uh temperature sending unit in and that's your brown wire and then last but not least and this one gave me a little bit of trouble but we got her done so this is your oil pressure switch and if you look, I had to, uh, the T, the T that they sent me was the wrong size for my boat. And I don't blame them just because it's an 05. So everything's different. Uh, could, could be correct for some 05 models, but basically, um, you're going to see the existing plug, which is back there plugged in right here. Here's your oil filter. Um, right there. So right above your oil filter, there's gonna be a plug. You're gonna unplug that and you're gonna un You're gonna take the bolt out um, That houses the connector and I, I think it was like a 27 
Uh, so just FYI, that's the only really big size you're going to need. That, I think it was a 27 that I needed to back that out. And then what you're going to do is install the T. And then I had to go to Home Depot and get fittings. Of course, they didn't have, you know, the, the, a, a simple bushing. Um, so I had to get some additional stuff. There's a coupler there. Um, and then I basically had to just reinstall the factory and then install the new uh, sending unit and that's our blue wire and that runs to the front so it's a little more involved right there for me um, if it does fit your boat it'll be a little uh, less complex there but anyways and that's basically it so uh, that's um that's the gist of it I mean back here You've got your temperature, you've got your oil, and you've got your tack. And then for the uh, fuel, it's right there. And so those uh, four wires will run up. And like I said, I just ran it nice and neat where the factory wires are all the way up and then to the dash. And that's pretty much it. So now I've got to show you that it works nah, I won't fire it up but um, key on and then uh, obviously when you fire it up uh, I did verify everything works so simple as that really happy um, quality gauges uh, really happy how it turned out it's not that bad of an install I just uh, was kind of worried about how complex it was uh, to install those back there, but it's really not. Um, if you watch this video, then hopefully it helps you uh, be able to tackle that. Um, other than that, it's just a matter of bolting it back up and uh, enjoying them. Um, I don't know how uh, everybody else's gauges got to the point where they failed uh, this boat pretty much had low hours uh, when mine started acting up and the medallion gauges uh, basically um, for me anyways I'd have to cycle my key to get them to work as in as soon as I turn the key on they won't work I'd have to turn it off turn it on turn it off turn it on until they worked and then I can fire over the boat and then it would work so uh, I rode with that for about a year or two and then it just it got to the point where I was cycling it like nine times I thought it was the uh, key um, the ignition uh, part there and I actually replaced that early on uh, I thought it was just a simple fix you know I, I started with that and that wasn't it uh, unfortunately for me and that's what made me look up the uh, medallion gauges and all the horror stories online about the crappy medallion gauges and the fact that they knew that they were crap and continue to install them uh, but it is what it is at this point so anyways uh, that's what happened with my medallion gauges and um, uh, they just flat out stopped working after a point so I had to do something. Um, I actually installed my water pump, uh, the new electrical water pump, and I, uh, you know, at that point my gauges completely stopped working, so I was not able to take the boat out and test the water pump to see if it actually works because I have no temperature gauge. So, um, anyways, that's my story. Hope this video helps. Again, I think the gauges I paid like a thousand dollars for them, so it is a little on the pricey side, but you're getting a quality product from a quality company um, and they're there to help if you need uh, you know to call them for anything they have uh, they have what it takes to get you going so that's uh, that's good and I highly recommend it but uh, anyways hope this video helps you guys have any questions I'll uh, try to help where I can and uh, good luck thanks